Hey guys, we're working on this Craftsman lawnmower that has ready start, and it, we just we get a spark and compression test. It has compression, but it doesn't have spark. So we're gonna take off the magneto and see if it's the magneto or what the dang problem is is of why it won't start and why there's no spark. Well, guys. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. Let's see what you're gonna need. Alright, so you guys are gonna need a... Alright, so you're gonna need a 1-4 10mm. Take off two bolts on the front here. Take off two bolts on the front here. Just one right there. Then you got another one. one right there, and then you got another one right here. Okay. Take out those two bolts. As you can see, you gotta take out these two bolts. Those two bolts right there. Spark plugs out because I took it out because I need to buy another one. Uh, what's the lightning bug? Sorry guys. It was a bug. Poisonous bug. Uh, Alright, so we got those two front bolts out, guys. Now we got you guys are gonna have to look around. Then if you look around enough, you're going to see some bolts right here inside of this recoil. It's going to be a 8mm here. I'm going to set you guys up and you guys can watch me take this thing apart. Alrighty, so you're going to get your 8mm. Put your 10 next to it because you're going to need, need that to put it back together. Take those. Eight millimeters out that are holding on the gas tank. Plus, this is a quantum man. And quantums were the older engines right after. Brigham Strat Classic. They came out with these. So, I have an engine coming in from one of my teachers. Shout out to her for giving me a lawnmower to work on. But, but alright, guys, so we got our gas tank off. Oops. Oops, sorry, guys. So, we got our gas tank. Use bend your gas tank back. There's a bolt down here. Oops. So you spin your gas tank back like that. And then you're gonna have a bolt on the back engine right here. It's gonna be a, I think it's a 10 millimeter. Uh, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. You're gonna need to grab a lot of extensions. I'd say probably two, three inch, one, four extensions. We need this Riggs engine here. So as you see, I got my Husky brand tool set here with four safe, clean, hard freight sockets. Got that. Pop down in there. Perfect size for two, three inch, six inch extension, extension socket. Take that out. It should get pretty loose. But those three bolts missing. And then there's another bolt over here on the engine. Just like, it's the same one as this, it's a 10 millimeter. Same bolt as this, you guys are going to need to take that out. There it goes, you guys want it fly, saw it flying. You're going to take that out, put it in a magnet tray or something. Don't want to lose these. I'd say take pictures. Put that down. I'm going to take out those bolts, or your one fourth. I pop off my side line, stick it out. Also, as you guys are wondering, it has good oil in the engine. 
I checked it before I bought it. This is one of the Lomers I got for $60. This is the self propelled one. There's also one bolt you guys might have missed. I didn't talk about. It's a bolt right here. Holding on the oil drain. That is an 8mm. Everything on these Briggs Quantum engines are mostly 10 or 8mm. I'm going to take that out. Lift up the oil drain. Bend it out and stick it back in. Let's stick it back in. This is your recoil, so it should just lift right out. There is a little mini spring you don't want to lose that's attached to it. You guys can see it just popped right out. You guys going to want to take out those bolts. Oopsies. Sorry guys, that was the gas tank. You want to take that out. Here on. Look at what's hooked up. Oh. oh, sorry guys, that was just under the cover. A lot of things. So we take that out. Take, lift, take, lift out those two things. Then we got the magneto exposed. If you guys look in here, you guys can see. That's how the auto choke works. So that actuator is on the muffler. That thing moves forward. That thing moves forward as it gets high. It goes. And then if you look over here, it goes. You can see it's opening the choke right there. Just look over, it's opening the choke. So that's how that works. It is not locked up, guys. So we are going to take out this magneto and test it. So you just rip the wire out of there. It's right between those two things. It should be an 8 millimeter, guys. Set you guys back up again. It should be an 8 millimeter. Not an 8 millimeter. It's a very small, so it's going to be a... We're getting the metric. It's a 1 fourth. Pop the 1 fourth on. Take out those bolts. There is going to be a part one and a part two. This is part one. Part two is going to be us testing the magneto. We're going to take out these bolts. Take out these bolts to hold the magneto to the engine. We're going to jiggle it off. There is a little wire. Unplug from the magneto, and your magneto's free from the engine. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for part one. You know, like and subscribe. I hope you guys like my videos. Leave a like down and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Bye. Ta -da -da -da.